So if you're not used to a high fiber diet or eating vegetables at all, if you don't eat vegetables and you suddenly start eating it, you may experience gas, you may experience bloating, and you, you may have diarrhea. So diarrhea is very real. Hi everyone, I'm Olivia and welcome back to Lullaby Live. So for the past two weeks, I've been drinking smoothies on smoothies on smoothies on smoothies. And this was inspired that I saw a post on Instagram, a smoothie challenge post, um, where you're gonna drink smoothies and feed your body to lose weight and be healthy. So I didn't actually follow this post at all, other than the fact that I drank smoothie. But I don't really follow any diets. I just follow trying to live in a calorie deficit and eating healthy. So I didn't follow that at all. But I still wanted to drink smoothies because I usually drink a smoothie every morning. Smoothies with all the food groups because I'm focused on feeding my body and not um, starving it because I feel long term if you feed it it'll be a lifestyle choice and it'll be um, healthier and you're just gonna build up your body build up your immune system and get stronger basically what I did for the last two weeks I would wake up I would work out I had a smoothie um, went about did all the tasks and stuff that I had to do for the day and then lunchtime I would have a smoothie again and I would have a snacker and then dinner. It wasn't really a light dinner, but it was dinner. And so what I did was I prepped all my smoothies in mason jars. So I went out, I bought a whole bunch of mason jars. I went grocery shopping to buy all kinds of things like beets, um, apples. Okay, so I bought a whole bunch of fruits and vegetables. And let me tell you, fruits and veggies aren't cheap. My bill was so much because I just, I kind of went overboard and bought too much because it lasted us like the whole two weeks. So yeah, I went out, bought a whole bunch of stuff, put them in my mason jars, and put them in the fridge, and every day I would just pick and choose one. So for me, meal prepping is super important, so I will show you um, the recipes that I have here for some of the smoothies. Some of them were great, and some of them were like mm, kind of gross, or it didn't work out for me. For anyone that's thinking of doing a smoothie challenge or any juicing challenge or anything like that, um, do your research before you go and do it because I didn't do my research fully. Like I, I always eat fruits and vegetables so I didn't think of anything but the sudden influx of even more fruits and vegetables like my body was just like what are you doing? <laughs> so veggies and stuff are good to help with bloating, cramps or anything like that but it has side effects for when you just start eating it because your body's not used to it. So if you're not used to a high fiber diet or eating vegetables at all if you don't eat vegetables and you suddenly start eating it you may experience gas, you may experience bloating, and you, you may have diarrhea. So, diarrhea is very real. So you may have that, that might surprise you. And with some of the fruits and veggies, like eating beets, your poop and, or your urine might turn like red or pinkish, so <laughs> don't be alarmed when you do try beets. And um, not every vegetable may be for you. And that's, that's something I learned this week. One was great. I had a, a smoothie with beets in it and it was beautiful. I made my first smoothie bowl. Um, the texture was a little bit mm, cha cha kind of thing because I didn't use smooth things. So, like um, using kale, it's hard to get, it's not going to be smooth. Using beets, it wasn't smooth, but I had, I wanted to keep all the fiber and all the nutrients and everything in there. So let me just say that smoothie bowls are a lot of work. I don't know why, I mean I see them on Instagram and they look cute and all, but eating your smoothie with a spoon out of a bowl, and like, it's so tedious. It is so tedious. I didn't, like I made it and I was just like, why am I doing this? I could just be done, it, you could have just gotten a straw or just like chugged it down and be like done. So it's cute, but it's smoothie bowls, I don't think they're very, if you don't have time to make them or they're not the most efficient to eat, especially when you're hungry. So, but like, they, it was cute though. I did it for the gram. It was cute. So.
Wednesday though, I had my favorite smoothie, and I suggest everyone try this one. That one was like bomb. I'd recommend it. I, I'm gonna now add that to my regular smoothie morning smoothies. This one had pear, it had kiwi, it had spinach, banana, um, a couple mint leaves, and ginger, and mm, so good. Oh, and then almond milk. So I used uh, non unsweetened almond milk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I used unsweetened almond milk. I think it was good. Um, I upped my um, fiber and my healthy veg fruits, vegetables. I added protein in it because I even added peanut butter. I had oats for like carbs and everything. And my body felt good. Um, I wasn't hungry. I thought I'd be a hungry eating it, but it has that fiber in that so that clears out your body um, and it just like helps you feel fuller for longer. And then some days I found I didn't actually even need any snacks, so that was good. Uh, one of the cons is that you can get diarrhea which and especially if you're a lactose intolerant person and you have dairy while trying this I suggest you don't because I had diarrhea it wasn't fun beets might not be for me like I've eaten beets I've had it in small amounts but I used too much beets so my smoothie was super red it tasted like mostly beets and I learned later on to use less beets the next day when I went to go and poo or use the loop or use the bathroom um, I forgot that I had beets the day before and it's it's very scary when you go to the bathroom and you go to poo and it's just red it's Red poo, it's just it's a scary mixture, so just be mindful of that if you're trying beets or if you had beets in the past. I've had beets and I still forgot, so when I went to the bathroom, it was like... My sister made um, loaded baked potatoes on Tuesday, and I woke up on Wednesday. It was just, it was just hell. I'm, I'm lactose intolerant, so I the combination of having all that fiber plus being lactose intolerant was not good, and it was just... I just suggest don't do it. Just avoid the dairy. I know it's hard and the pot potatoes were good, but don't do it. It's not worth it. It's really not. And you will suffer. I suffered. High fiber diets and being lactose intolerant and having dairy is not a good mixture. So lesson for this week. Those are the smoothies that I tried out for my smoothie challenge or just because I wanted to drink more smoothies and drink more nutritious foods. So I drink two smoothies a day for like two weeks and trying to reap the benefits of mother nature and all these fruits vegetables vitamins carbs proteins everything so that was my experience i hope you try out um, at least one of the smoothie recipes to see how it goes for you or try out the one that i recommend be mindful of beets <laughs> and you know a sudden influx of fiber in your diet if you haven't already i suggest you check out my um, skip with me videos i'm thinking of making these a regular thing maybe skip with me sundays uh, uh, we'll see how they go and I will see you in the next video.